now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Oh, well, you hello then. there, you wonderful Ready humans. And welcome back to Dragon's Dogma 2. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Uh, we're out exploring here a little bit. Um, I'm trying to finish up a quest line where I actually needed to uh, equip the archer vocation. I'm not going to be doing a lot of gameplay as archer today. It's not my favorite vocation, but I happened upon this little area here. And I'm curious if there's some loot or something in here. There's like a little campsite. And it's just like a random building, but I don't see anybody around it or in it. I doubt anyone will believe me, yet I'm compelled to write this account of what I saw. A gigantus walked the earth. How else to describe it? Its every step shook the ground. Its distant crown parted the clouds. I know not whence it came, only that some terrible power must have stirred it to life. Be it god or dragon, or aught beyond imagining. Interesting. What's going on, Brian, Natasha, Courtney, uh, Bree, Mystic? My game hopefully arrives today, so you can't wait to play. Ooh, nice. I hope you enjoy it. It is an absolute amazing game. Been horribly, horribly addicted. One of the few games that I'm actually excited to play multiple times, believe it or not. Freshly rested as we are. Uh, so let's see here. We're headed up to the favorite. the archer we quest up here that we picked up in the last live stream. We're also going to be hunting for the Sphinx today. Uh, the Sphinx can be found in the world. Uh, there's riddles to be had. We can fight it as well. Um, so we're going to be having a, a pretty interesting day. A lot of things to do today. Uh, we're also going to be messing around with more rogue as well. Oh my god. Nope, 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 nope. I am not equipped for this. I'm basically naked. Please run faster. Oh my god, old man. Let's go. This is not the time nor place to be old. Oh Christ, on a muffin. Oh, I'm getting my cheeks clapped. What the heck? Not according to Steam reviews. It's because people are dumb. People are just jumping on a bandwagon. Uh, the game is absolutely amazing. Uh, the problem is that people are, you know, there's definitely some some truth to be had. Like microtransactions in a single player game, absolutely stupid. I don't know why Capcom adds them in every single game they release, uh, but Monster Hunter was exactly the same way. Every single, except with Monster Hunter, there was a lot of stuff that they had in the micro in the in the store that you could not get in the game. However, with Dragon's Dogma 2, there was absolutely no reason to buy anything from the store. I don't even know why the store exists, which is how useless all the stuff in the store is. Um, pretty dumb. There's nothing locked behind any kind of paywall. No reason to buy anything in the store. So the whole drama around it's honestly pretty dumb. Although there are legitimate complaints about the... Someone's trying to shoot my butt. Around the performance issues. Uh, very CPU intensive on this game, and they should have found a way to optimize that uh, before releasing the game. Have you found the Sphinx yet? Uh, I know where to find it, yes. I just uh, We haven't gone to it yet. We literally just started. I'm trying to make our way... I'm trying to make a little bit of money before we go to the Sphinx for a uh, reason that you'll see as we kind of go through this. It's, uh, it's kind of unfortunate that that's the narrative. I mean, it's Capcom's fault for including it, but really, on the grand scheme of things, with all of the craziness that's going down in gaming, in general with microtransactions, having things that you do not need to buy that you can get easily in-game in surplus by just playing. And you honestly have to, like, search. This means these people actively looked to buy things in the game and then complained about it. Like, if you go and play the game, you have no idea that microtransactions exist. There's no shop in the game. You have literally no way of knowing that these exist unless you actively look for it. Oh, no, it's dumb. 
or the normal screen. Yeah, I had a lot to do today for uh, for videos, so. The arisen has been changed. Oh. <laughs> That's the guy we're supposed to be helping. I don't have anything unlocked for this. I literally just came up here for this quest only. This fair more fatindome. Anasinde aliale akiales. Yeah? Completed calling request. Oh, that was just a random request from somebody. Okay. From an elf, nonetheless. Like, <laughs> if the game was... Yeah, I don't know. This is absolutely crazy. Just so much misinformation being spread. A lot of it from TikTok YouTubers. Um, it's just a mess. And then misinformation keeps spreading because people just want to be angry instead of actually figuring stuff out. Crazy the times we live in nowadays. Finally get to see the bookseller in Stardew. Ooh, nice. Hip, hip, hip. I've not been up here before. Lots of goodies to collect up here. I will be with you in but a moment. Items. Actually, I shouldn't have used all of that. I, dang it. I just didn't want it to, like, expire. Shoot. Could have saved those. But this root has a ton of that stuff. <laughs> right, how do we get up there? No useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? Sure, there's like caves and things that we gotta find around here too. And I need to equip a pond that will collect stuff for me so I don't have to do it anymore. Be straight ahead. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Let's see. No, I don't want to what lighten can we my do pack. Without? Well, this is interesting. Where is this dude? The Mountain Ruins. Ah, oh, there he is. Okay. I'm so afraid what of water after a couple tentacle Absolutely. mistakes that oh. we've had. True to your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, so, so stand here and take... You have my gratitude. I learned much from you just... How does an elf not know how to shoot a bow? In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of elven men, Bows crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? Sure. I can see this is no revelation for you. I expect you thought this design common to all bows, yes? Not so for those of Elven make, however. Our bows are crafted to guide not the hand, but the heart. Hmm, the Elven heart, I see. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but such is the perspective of Elven kind. We are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true. As if it is all a matter of poise, I admit. I find it rather baffling myself. Perhaps that is why my bowmanship has failed to improve. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Yeah, so you just learned how to aim. Huzzah! <laughs> this elf ain't going to make feet. it. He's going to get clapped by a cyclops one day. I can hardly believe it. This marvel is, is nothing at all. To think that I should... It is a strange thought. 
All right, let's see here. I'd nearly given up on myself. My performance with this bow has done all we had to do to come out here. This design is all very well to talk of honing ones. I am my god, you talk a lot. I shall take this bow back to the arbor with this as my weapon. I have no doubt I shall pass my trial of archery. I hope he does. We're probably going to encounter him later at some point. Doubts no longer plague him. 8,500 gold in the ring of proximity for that. His trial of archery. Let's see here. Ring of Proximity. A ring imbued with power offers a greater boost to the strength of bow attacks the closer the wearer is to a target. That is actually really good. Interesting. So you get that from doing the Archer quest. Ooh, I have really good plans for that ring someday. You have my support. Traveling beyond the rift, I came Ooh, upon a there cave. There is a cave here. You have yet to discover. I bet this cave is going to have a bunch of Shall archer stuff in it. If I were to make a guess, I guess we'll explore in here. Uh, we're going to continue hunting for the Sphinx in a second, but when we see a cave, we got to explore the cave, right? What's the name of this cave? This is the Forgotten Tunnel. Hmm. Where is this going to take us? Oh, we've got a quest in Melv that we got to do too. Which we're going to end up going there anyways. If this is just a tunnel... Eh, we'll come back to this at some point. It is our first time here. Be vigilant. We do not yet know what to expect. A retreat may be in order, depending on what makes this its lair. I think they're talking about retreat before we even get in there. Oh. That is a very rare item up there. So we gotta hardcore parkour our way to that? It doesn't look like we can get to it from there. It's about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? It looks like we need to go all the way across all of these things. So we need to find a way up onto the second story of this particular building. I'm up here. Yep. Perfect. Hey, Callie. How are you doing? Always going to the caves? Shall it's like famous last words. Caves it? are great. Always filled with good times. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Really? A wakestone shard? Oh. There's another cave up there, too. Wakestone shards aren't bad, though. <gasps> oh, my lord. Found your next Stardew mod. You can change Pam's walk to a drunk wobble. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Good old drunken wobble, huh? I'd sooner not battle those with whom we have no quarrel. Yet if they mean us harm, we can but defend ourselves. Oh, there's a lot you of little chests support. in this area. 300 RC. That's awesome. Come in very handy. Automatic beads? What's going on? Oh, yeah. The beginnings of allergy season. What a freaking nightmare. It's getting filled up with tree stuff. Savagery extract. Okay. When tarred, be sure to avoid open flame. Not great, but not terrible. Bow, 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 bow. All right. Now I'm committed to seeing what's in this cave. Looks like 
because it looked like that maybe it exits at the top. So this is north of Trevo Mine, which is northwest of Vernworth. Oh, it's your birthday? Happy birthday. What? Boo. Hey, Lizzie. Get my hands on you. Oh, what the Make heck? Sure Where did you come end. from? Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait a moment. I grant you roaring flame. All right, let's get back to town. How many... So I have three fairy stones. I want to save them for the stream, so we're not going to use them. I wonder if we can get to Melv quickly from here. Oh, so much to do, so little time. So from up here, yeah, people just get like getting beat to death around here. Are we leaving already? Oh, that was a cool little slide. This is my first time using the archer. That was like a nifty high damage slide. Yeeted. Over so soon? Why? We seem to have come through unscathed. We mustn't allow ourselves. Hmm, tiger's eye. Okay. Let's see. I th really didn't want to use one of my fairy stones, but I think I'm going to. Yeah, we'll go back to Vernworth. That kind of defeats the whole purpose of doing that quest, though. <laughs> Can we get rid of that super heavy? Perfect, okay. Now we can run back without being super encumbered. Take each trial being cucumbered sucks. Thankfully, hit my, hit my limit life crisis. I registered myself in a raffle to win a 1981 Corvette. <laughs> if I were to win, all I need is the gold chains. Oh my lord. <laughs> Good luck to you. Ooh, my god. Good luck to you. I hope you win. to be on the archer anymore. I was going to try and run back to town as quick as possible. Uh, so we're going to hunt the Sphinx next. There's a bunch of things we got to do. Getting back to town is going to be the most important part. Please not a griffin. Please not a griffin. I do not want to deal with that right now. Getting a level while we're running away from things. Oh, shoot, that freaking minotaur again. Okay, perfect. Just 
going to follow this road all the way back. Don't mind the casual griffin shadow hovering around you. It's always a little panic-inducing, especially at the beginning of the game. Ooh, ox cart. Well, that guy just had a real bad day. No, 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 no. Oh. Thank you, Karen. This is just a really rough wombo combo they got going on here. Bad bird. Please don't destroy the ox cart. I need it. We Gucci? This ox cart will not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Please take me to Vernworth. For the love of God. Karen equals MVP. She just did just save my life. Your teammate proves there are good Karens out there. <laughs> Indeed there are. All right, Kinger, you can get the ID um, of your friend to be able to recruit it. You can also favorite pawns to be able to find them again. Which, if anybody wants to use my pawn, you can do that this if you want. Looks sturdy enough to climb. Oh, right, we're changing our vocation back now. Have you we're going to use Mystic Spearhand for a little bit to today. But actually, fire and equip skills. Um, let's see here. We've got... Increases damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stance. Interesting. Not super helpful. Do come again. A mystic spear hand. What a marvelous vocation. Our master ascends to heights beyond our reach. A marvelous vocation indeed. What else do we need? I think we are good to go. Why are you so thick right now? So you can switch freely between well, classes. Yep. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to yeah, I did a uh, beginner's guide yesterday, which I highly recommend checking out. It'll also alleviate a lot of the uh, uh, potential issues that people might have with stuff. Highly recommend checking out before you play. Some very important things that the game does not tell you that you can learn from it. We've got a beetle on us that we need. Put that back. Stuff in storage. Don't need the bow. Hat. These back. That way. Now we're... All right, now we are going to be off to hunt the Sphinx. Let's make... Let's make some Coburns. Ooh. 
Much obliged. Do I have to wait a day or two to send his low-level pawn back to him because I dismissed the pawn? And I, I'm actually not sure. I haven't recruited the same pawns multiple times yet. I know you can. I just haven't particularly done it. All right, let's see how much money we got. We got 30,000 gold. We got three port crystals. And we unlocked our house earlier. Uh, I accidentally started it. So you can actually unlock a temporary house, then you can purchase the house uh, when you're done as well. Oh, dude. This guy right here. You. It's part of a quest. My, my. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. Who are you? is obvious, no? I am an agent, of a sort. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over, now you found me out. Good old Bermuda. This guy's been stalking us. You can find him at night, and uh, <laughs> you gotta chase him down and tackle so, him. how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Mm, demand compensation. Aye, aye. You'll have your coin. That's how this works, isn't it? I'm going to accept this gold. I don't know what's going to happen with this. <laughs> Glad we understand each other. How much gold did we get for it? We let the dude live, so... I cannot help but wonder whether it was the right choice. I'm not sure what to tell you. I don't think they liked that. <laughs> but yeah, if you unlock this house, you'll actually get little presents outside your door from people that you help. Oh, sweet, a fairy stone, yes. More fairy stones, more better. We must rest, though the sun is still up. Ooh, somebody used Karen. Oh boy. Is this gonna be our first issue? Yep, failed to connect the network. Yes, please try again. Oh, what it do? A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? Okay, so we're gonna go hunt for the Sphinx now. So, to find the Sphinx, the first thing we need to do is we need to go to the checkpoint rest town, uh, which is all the way down here. <clears throat> So there's a couple different ways we can get to the checkpoint rest town. We can either walk all the way over there, which we're not going to do. If we go to this ox cart right here, we should be able to fast travel there. I believe that's the one for fast traveling. Does the game feel kind of like Dark Souls? No, no, it's a lot easier than that. It's uh, it's probably the easiest accent. It, I mean, it. Oxbats Leonard is the fighter one. Oh, the warrior meister. Um, I actually don't know about that. Found in the main road. Though carts travel only. This ox cart's bound for the checkpoint rest town. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. I don't know where the warrior one is. That's a good question, actually. Let's doze off. Wow, we made it unscathed. I'll gather this. It might Impressive. be Impressive. 
Man, look at that dude over there. Putting Karen to shame right now. You want to play, but you have to wait for a deep discount. <laughs> and so there's definitely a couple quests that we could do here. But essentially what we need to and loyal do, and go away! To by your side. Kippy, you got a really cool all, jacket there, lead. bud. And prioritize support. Mm. Intriguing. Very tempted. But no. I want to play, but I have to wait for a deep discount. Or why? Are you worried about the uh, the Steam reviews? This is generally used as a material. I think we're going different right combinations of materials result in different creations. I think this is the right way. Oh, hello, hobgoblins. It is a hobgoblin. Fire won't do much good here. Best fire different attack. I grant you fire's blaze. Well. Not everyone has a hundred dollars to spend on a game right now. I mean, that's fair. That's not what I meant by it, though. More along the lines of uh, usually when people mention steep discount, it's because of uh, worries about reviews. So I th think we actually need to go down this way. Ooh, Bo, can you actually send that to me? Need that very much. Ah! I had a feeling that's what it was. Thank you. Alright, so for anybody that wants to follow along with how to find the Sphinx, um, we're going to go through this whole process together. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take us a while, and we can actually do this at pretty much any point in the game. And you're just going to have to be careful, but we're also going to loot a whole bunch of things along the way. But if you get to the checkpoint rest town, which is going to be here, just to review for anybody that's joining the stream right now, if you're in Vernworth, you can go to the West Vernworth Oxcart Station, and this will allow you to take an ox cart all the way to the checkpoint rest town instead of having to run all the way here. Obviously, there's plenty of cool things to find along the way if you want. Regardless, from checkpoint rest town, we kind of need to go along this road, and we need to go down this path right here. Oh, well, that's a fancy ox cart right there. Who's inside of there? There's nobody. Well, that's lame. As once we get to this little bend, you're going to see that this cliffside is kind of blown up, and then we can wander our way down here. You can avoid any of the fights along the way if you want, but you can also roll these boulders down. These little rock dudes are a little bit of a pain. If you have, like, a warrior with a blunt weapon, blunt weapons work really good on these. All you gotta do is just really knock them over, and then you can hit their belly and do quite a bit more damage. Also, always make sure to chop off the tails of these so that way you can collect them for crafting really good resources. Oh, got a lot of good XP for this, though. I'm just going to go ahead and push all these little rocks down now while we can, before anything else aggros us. Should kill anything down this mountain, hopefully. And as long as you push them down now, it won't actually roll over and kill you instead. Ooh, got a vocation rank up. Nice. It, what? How did it hit me? Too many games just we came out, uh, broke my bank. That's fair. Very, 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 very fair. Ooh, here. there's a little chest up there. 
I don't think we can get Karen to go do that. <laughs> if we could throw Karen across there, I would love that. Oh, there's a cave right there as well. Of course, the bandits didn't get killed by my little rock. It seems to me we'll find some rare materials. Oh, he's a friend. He's a friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but essentially, we need to get all the way down this mountain. Gotta figure out how to get in that cave that's up there. Bo, did you complete the Sphinx no stuff by chance? We've energy enough to press on for a while yet. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. Right, let's see what type of thing this is. Let's open this bad boy up. Can you... Oh, don't stand. It breaks it. Haven't run into it yet. Oh, there's lots of good stuff from the Sphinx. That's a forgotten Riftstone. That's not the one we want. I know precisely when a curative is needed, Master. Imagine that's what unlocks the sealed chests. Yeah. <laughs> so there's one thing that we're going to need for one of these Sphinx's riddles. So as you're kind of progressing down this road right here, if you go down to the bottom, there's going to be a campsite near one of these forgotten rift stones. And on one of these trees is going to be this golden beetle. Pick that up. Don't consume it because you're actually going to need to keep it. And then we can kind of continue down this way, which is going to be an area with a giant battlefield with a dragon and an ogre fighting. We do not have to fight these. The is a uh, you can weapon. kill them if you want. You do not need to. Battle. No but it could be fun because you can utilize that ballista to fight them as well. But there's a couple different ways we can go about this. We kind of need to get up into that castle right there. So if you go down, you're going to end up having to duke it out with the ogre and the dragon. Or we can kind of go along this cliff right here, which is exactly what we're going to do. Imagine that's what... Um, yeah. Water is not invisible in this gloom. No few times has an overconfident step soaked my boots. What you talking about getting your ah, boots yes. soaked like that? That sounds familiar. So once we get up to this area here, we want to enter inside of this. There's going to be a bunch of different things to fight in here. And we're actually going to spend some time exploring this area too, because there's a lot of really good stuff in this area that we want to unlock. So not only are we going to be getting the Sphinx, we're going to be getting quite a good, quite a few good items here as well. And also, Bo, this is actually where you'll need to go for some of the stuff you need for the Meister things, too. Let's go, Karen. Let's go. Does either one of them eventually beat one another? Yes. You can actually watch them duke it out if you want. Ripen the grapes. Take each trial and how are we to get through this door? How are we to get through this door indeed? Wonder if this breaks. We had a small character, I bet we could actually climb up through that. Oh, if we had the bow. I bet we could break that. What vocation is this? This is the Mystic Spear Hand. Or at least a video today on unlocking the Mystic Spear Hand early if you want to. There's I'll a couple different ways to chest. do it. 780 gold from that chest. Spoil it for you, who wins? Well, it's a dragon versus an ogre, so you could probably guess that one. Let's climb up this ladder right here. I want to make sure that we get everything in this little castle, too. We're at 8 inches of snow from this recent storm. Oh my goodness. That is insane. By your leave, Arisen. I don't know 
if we can get up into there, but I'm gonna try. Didn't try this before. Nope, nope. No. We could levitate a bit, we could get up into that. We could throw Karen in there and see what happens. Throwing Karen places is always a good time. Can you launch Karen from a ballista? I would absolutely love that. I have a feeling if I go in there, I might get stuck. Doesn't seem like the game wants us to get in there. I don't think. Looks kind of empty. Get that for now. I know there's another way up there, anyways. Alright, so from these stairs, we need to make our way across the top of these palisades. I don't know if you would actually call these palisades or not. You can still see them duking it out down there. The dragon has one, by the way. You can actually go down and loot that ogre if you want, but then this obviously is the dragon is going to try and, weapon. you know, eat Single your booty like groceries, so careful if you decide to do that. Force. This could grant us an edge in battle, if we use it well. See, there's a ladder up there that we can get. We can explore this whole area. There's a lot of good stuff here. Now, we need to actually climb down this ladder. Why are they... Oh, shoot. I left them. <laughs> come back. Baby, and I come shall back. remain by your side. Oh, yeah. So, from this... From that ladder, we're just going to run across... And then all we would need to do is jump down into that little hole right there. But before we do that, I want to explore more of this little castle here. Let's go up this. Hello, hobgoblins. God, I love being able to just pick up and yeet people. So good. Back here. You can even like throw dead bodies and stuff with this. It's a lot of fun. Let my magic you your weapon with the fury of the elements. I feel like fighting this dude on top of this is just a really, really bad idea. Val oh my god. On the right. Can we knock him off balance and eat him? Nope, nope, nope. Ah. One of the targets caught by my own master. <laughs> Val just getting stomped. Maybe we'll ignore this ogre. I really don't feel like getting Yetus to lead us off that cliff right now. Val got crushed by those ogre thighs. <laughs> Maybe Val's got a fetish for it. Kind of did stand right under it. Alright, looks like we officially skirted that ogre. Definitely can't get to us, so... That looks promising, but we'll have to drop it down from above. Let's see. I forgot there was one thing that I needed to do before coming out here. be able to get it. That ogre is very upsetty spaghetti.
brain's working on slow mode today. Alright, anyways. Let's continue down this ladder. It's gonna kind of get us into that castle Where's area. The ogre made it in. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Can he still hit us from here? That's kind of a hack. He can definitely still stomp us to death. Just got successful. absolutely destroyed. Splendid. I'm gonna continue up these stairs. I'll look for any little secrets along the way. We ought to keep watch, lest we be set upon from behind. Oh, it was but a trick of the light. Angry big boy. All the big boys are really angry in this game. It's like they were born for it. Now we are in the nice little castle area. I climb the ladder, please. Already night time. Wow. Here, go away. No. Are you serious, dude? So everything I'll just gets that. yeeted. We might find a use for it. Tears not. A ladder, is it? How convenient. We ought Hello, to put it little to little ogre use. friend. I'm gonna steal this chest, then I'm gonna run away, okay, bud? I don't really well feel done. like dealing with you. Let my magic grant you the mental boot. Ooh, that's a nice mace right there. Um, let's see your equipment. That is for warrior. Ooh, a buttload of knockdown power. Let's give this to Val. Stuff remember that we gave it to her. Reckless opponents makes for easy prey. Of course. No pause. Oh god.
out, Bo. Have a good night. Yeah, I did hear about the... Uh, Ooh, Malarian Cyclops Veil. Ooh. That's nifty. So that's, that's for Warrior. It's got one eye hole. Probably not great for combat. Hmm. So you get that for defeating these Cyclops in the Ancient Battleground. It's located right here. Super cool. It's got another ladder. I haven't watched the animated series though, but I've heard that it is out. It's cool. I think it's at nighttime. Is Pain in the boot. Is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace? Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. So we're definitely going to need this. So if we actually zoom out on the map, you'll see that this is a Riftstone of Perseverance. Let's see. Bones in the Rift. I shall await further orders. Gun, oh, gun. I appreciate you carrying our heavy items, but do let me know if you need a hand. Ooh. Danger zone! Oh no. Oh no. Ugh. I not believe I just fell off of that. You've got to be kidding me. God, I hate this. Oh! My god, I lived. That is a Christmas freaking miracle. So glad I didn't have the pawns follow me. Such luck. <laughs> believe how lucky that was. Whoops. Stop. Try and get back up here again. Don't know what's up there, but it's piqued my interest. Don't die. That's what I love about this game is the exploration that you can do and what you can find is like my. I'm 
I'm so upset right now. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and not believe it. I, ah. Uh, I'm doing it again. I swear to God, I'm going to go up there. And it's not going to be worth getting. But I am freaking determined. I've got a save point right there. I'll try all day. Oh, my lanta. Are we to remain here? Yeah, you're to remain there. Nothing up here. Hmm. The plot doth thicken. You jinxed your luck. I sure did. Something. Nothing. Hmm. I'll have to figure this out later. They, they wouldn't have put this here if there was nothing here. There's definitely something there. I just don't know what it is yet. But it is dark, and I don't feel like dealing with the darkness. <laughs> if only it was <laughs> so you could actually see. Speaking yeah, the nighttime in this game is pretty oppressive. Horns in this party are women all. And yet, no two of us are the same. Through the world send cavern. We're almost the Sphinx. <laughs> you want to get Yidus the latest? God, I love it. Makes me so happy. There's no light spell. There is. I just don't have it equipped because I don't usually play at night. Because I usually camp before I go exploring. Like this. Now we've the vim to tackle the day ahead. Come, we've much to be getting on with. I hope you slept well. Right, let's continue through this little tunnel here. It isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. It is enough to make camp only when the need arises. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Try not to get hit, lest all that vim go to waste. Looks like there might have been something down there, but maybe not. Seeker's token. Heck yeah. This looks as if it would fetch a hefty sum. Whether or not we make the sailors go the arisen to the, the stupid ghosts. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. It is an item of exceptional rarity. I cannot wait to tell my own nice. master that was of its a decent amount of gold. Whoa! 
There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Weight cobble. I've never seen that before. Interesting. That's going to be used for something. Really, ghost? Freaking haunted ores. You're well fond of picking things up, aren't you? The ghosts mocking me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they definitely are. Alright, so... Weight cobble. A rare and precious ore found among the remote crags of Batal and in the hinterlands of Vermund. Can be used to enhance equipment. Well... Dare I say it? We trounced our foe. Well and true. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. <laughs> Gotta find the Sphinx. Help. Help. <laughs> what the heck? Freaking haunted ring? Is that what that was? Ring of Grit. Reduces stamina expended when blocking an attack with a shield. Nice. With my magic. Wait a moment. I think trying to penetrate my holes. I did not like that. Oh god, no! <laughs> More haunted chests! This place sucks. Is this one haunted too? an exit there. Let's go deeper first. You're welcome to take whatever you like from my pack, master. I'd gladly see you put what I find to good use. Mm, just more ghosty goodness. These are all golems right here. I'm gonna try and not fight these guys. This is our first inclination that there is the Sphinx around here. So you can see all this little all these little icons right here. Or not little icons, but the first mural of the Sphinx. I think we can ignore that golem, we'll just continue on. No, it doesn't. Not a threat to it. Come and hit them, my child. Our strategy. Hold faster, Risen. I will be with you in but a moment. Or 
accuracy. It's going to continue our way up here. Come and to we have finally, Some finally, finally rearranged thy party at the drop of a hat. Made it to the Sphinx. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Each to their own. There she is. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Many have tried, and as you can plainly see, all have failed. I would, after all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. I would enjoy a game of wits. So when you go to the Sphinx, you can actually. Just fight it right off the bat if you want, but that is definitely not what you want to do. We actually want to solve all of the Sphinx's riddles. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. I trust I have your attention. I do very much like loot, so, so yes. Take your place and we shall begin. So the while you can fight the Sphinx, you definitely don't want to at the very beginning. You want to solve all of these riddles. Of and there's actually a specific way to be able to actually defeat the Sphinx. So let's go up here and see what our first we'll riddle is going to be. Probably take like a... Oh, you know what I should do? I should take a photo. I don't know if my chat's broken or not either. I wish there was a way... She got her high beams on. That's 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 a one a one way to call it. Do this a little bit better like this. And I haven't actually really used the the photo mode. Interesting. So let's see if we can blur the background. How does this work? Oh, blur on. There we go. That helps. Perfect. And then to get rid of the guidance display, we can do that. <laughs> I chose a memorable object. <laughs> totally, uh, probably getting demonetized for the amount of time we're staring at this particular uh, imagery here. We might have to choose a slightly different photo for the thumbnail. Oh my god. It's art. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it like this. Just in case. Technically there are no nipples. That is that is a technicality there for sure. <clears throat> and then we'll do one more. We'll go like this. Their back to it, maybe? The sword is kind of in the way, and I feel like if I draw the, uh, the blade, we will encounter the ire of the Sphinx, which wouldn't be the best idea. Thank you all for being patient with my photo requirements. 
thumbnails. He knows when he's about to get kicked out. <laughs> he gets all sad panda mode. All right, do we recommend any other photos before we continue on? Maybe a zoomed out one might not be the worst idea. That actually looks really cool. The photo mode's not that bad. Doesn't have a lot of options, but... I really like the words. All right, let's check out this first riddle. Your resolve is commendable. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? Ooh. Are you calling us a fool? Ooh. So we've got a whole bunch of different riddles here. Let's do the riddle of eyes first. Our eyes are our allies. Yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do lead astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door, and retrieve that which is of greatest value. Retrieve that of which is greatest value. Uh, so let's go back here. I like that they're just waiting back here. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through this door here. And what we need to do is actually turn around. Let's take care of these hobgoblin or these little goblin boys first. Just throw them at each other or something. So you don't actually need to go deep into this cave. If you turn around, you can see a little chest just above the door. And this is actually what we need to solve this first riddle. Inside of this chest, is going to be a ceiling file. You very, very much need to save this file as well. Uh, but once you collect that, you can just go ahead and exit back out, and we can talk to the Sphinx, and we will complete the first riddle this way. <sighs> Hello, ma'am. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. All right, so we got to give her the ceiling file, but we actually will get it back. So we're going to deliver this. And this should... Oh, my God. Hello, man. So, this is your choice. The greatest worth your eyes describe. Yeah, can we do photo mode right now? No, we cannot. God, it's so creepy. Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. Well, thank you, Sphinx. That was certainly worthwhile. Now, you definitely need to save this file. There's a couple different ways you can use it to be able to complete the Sphinx's riddles, but there is one specific scenario where it is going to be the most useful, and <laughs> it's going to save you... It's, it's literally going to, you know, prevent you from going insane at a certain point. So we have to solve... Uh, four more riddles here, and you can notice there's a golden chest here as well. Uh, but let's check out what the next riddle is going to be. We can kind of check out all these different riddles, but we're going to do them Come in order here. We've got the... Uh, yeah, let's hear the riddle of madness. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. 
So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. So she's asking us to bring our most beloved to her. Now, we do have a bunch of these pawns out here, and they are our closest friends, so let's actually have them follow us. If we can. Oh, we might actually need to do something else here. Uh, Karen, are you my most beloved? Come here. <laughs> We're gonna carry Karen there. I think Karen's our most beloved. Come to test your wits. So let's see if we can do the Riddle of Madness. I believe if you bring any of your pawns to this location, it should work. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. So we're going to answer is this. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Yeah, her name is Karen and she is amazing. Oh my lord. Such well, a creepy well. face. Very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. Well, that's mean. Why should I love more people? This isn't a polyamorous relationship, okay? Karen has saved my life so many times. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Truly? Yes, Karen, I love you. You have saved my life so many times. You're gonna have to watch something cute and fluffy after this. Uh, so let's see what we get in our second chest here. Ah, uh, we got a port crystal. These things are absolutely amazing. So a port crystal is something that we can actually place in the world and we can teleport back to it whenever we want using a fairy stone. It's basically a fast travel point that we can bring with us anywhere. You can get a couple of these throughout the game. Uh, this one is going to come in very, very handy later on. So make sure to keep it on you. You can keep it here at the Sphinx if you want as well. So what we're going to do is I know we're going to need to come back to the Sphinx because we got to go out and do a couple of different things here. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to use this port crystal. I can't use it here. Okay, hold on. We're going to put the port crystal down here. I don't think I can put it in the shrine, but I'm pretty sure I can put it right down here. Perfect. Tis done, master. Now a fairy stone can whisk us here whensoever we desire. So now we can teleport back to this using a fairy stone at any point in time, and we can pick this up and put it anywhere else in the world as well. So we've got a very quick way to get back to the Sphinx, which is important both for right now and in the future. Let's see what the next riddle is going to be. To test your wits. We've got the riddle of wisdom. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. Hmm. I am a lost child. For kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent that I might better learn. Perfect. Okay, so the Sphinx wants her parent. This one is actually kind of confusing. Well, it's not super confusing. Once you know what to do, it's not that bad. But finding a Sphinx's parent, like, what the heck, right? What are you supposed to do? So what we need to do here is we actually need to bring a pawn. Let's see here, so that's the Perseverance, that's the campsite. We need to leave this area. We're actually going to leave this area. Another campsite right there. It is just daytime. Ah, you know what? We're going to camp at this campsite. Also, thank you all for hanging out for a 
earlier live stream. I really do appreciate it. Y'all are phenomenal. Make camp. We'll rest till daytime. Actually, you know what? There's there's another thing before we leave. Oh, no, 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 no. Rest till morning. The longer our journey, yes. the more of each other we come to know. <clears throat> really, bro? Oh god. <laughs> Epic fail. Before we leave this area. Oh, did we get we got raided, didn't we? No. Freshly rested as we are, this battle ought to be in our favor. We must not let down our guard. Of course they're all around where the Sphinx is. Magic's grant you an elemental boon. Hang in there, master. I'm Ugh. coming to assist. I'm gonna check the map real quick. So we basically need to recruit a specific pawn, uh, but there's another thing that I need to do at the same time. A forgotten rift stone, rift stone of the summit. So you'll notice some of these rift stones are named different things, and certain rift stones are better than other ones. So that's Mel. What's going on? Come to test your wit. All right, so we also have the Heart Riddle of Conviction and the Heart Riddle of Rumination. So we know the Riddle of Wisdom. We have to find the Sphinx's parents. But there's a couple other riddles that we need to solve, and we can solve one of them while we're here because we already picked up the golden beetle from earlier, which I believe is the riddle of conviction. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. Now the keywords there is a lighter pack makes fleeter foot. And we know that the golden beetles allow us to carry more or to have a higher maximum encumbrance. So grant to me what you most prize, and thence elude your ponderous demise. Well, we ain't dying anywhere. So if you picked up one of those golden beetles, you just need one of these golden trove beetles, and thankfully the Sphinx will actually give it back to us. So we're gonna provide this, and this should solve this particular riddle. So, this is your prized possession. A most revealing choice. Do you consent to give it to me, knowing that it may never be returned? Absolutely. Well, well. Very good. So spirit. creepy. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you? Not bad. All right, so let's open the riddle of conviction chest. We did get that golden trove beetle back. She didn't actually steal it from us. And inside of this chest, we get a golden trove beetle. <laughs> it's kind of unfortunate that you give a golden trove beetle and you get one back in the chest. Kind of dumb. 
But regardless, we got two more riddles to complete here. Come to test your wits. Now these last two riddles we're going to do at the same time. We've got the riddle of wisdom and the riddle of rumination. Is ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. Now this is really important. We only have seven days to find where we got our first Seeker's Token. Now I'm hoping, like me, many of you found the first Seeker's Token at the beginning of the game. Otherwise, if you don't actually remember where, you're, where you got your first Seeker's Token, your Sphinx quest might end here. And that's why I really recommend doing this as early as you can in the game. Thankfully, I do remember where my first Seeker's Token was, which was just outside of Melv. But I highly recommend if you're getting into the game to be able to play, make note of where you pick up your first Seeker's Token. It is going to save your life with the Sphinx quest, because if you don't know where it is, you actually can't complete the quest. So right now we need to head back to Melv. And while we're picking up this Seeker's Token, or going back to the first Seeker's Token location, we're also going to pick up the thing that we need for the other... or for the last remaining riddle. So we're going to use one of our Fairy Stones. Yeah, we've got plenty of these. We'll go back to Vernworth. The Sphinx is nightmare fuel. <laughs> yeah, it is. We seem to have a ride without issue. People won't know that here. and will fail that quest of not knowing. It's kind of memorable when you get your first Seeker's token because it does kind of stop you in your tracks and teaches you about uh, Seeker's tokens. But there's a solid chance if you don't encounter the Sphinx until much later in the game, you might not remember. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Perhaps new discoveries await us above. All right, so thankfully I do know where my first Seeker's token was, and we're going to take this cart to this Melv. This cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. And there's also another thing that we need to do in Melv here as well. Um, at certain points in time, to you're going to be told easier. to go back to Melv to check it out periodically. This kind of kills two birds with one stone at the beginning light. of the game. Maybe that's why people are complaining they can't restart. It's the good part about the game, though. But no, they're complaining they can't restart because they just want to complain about stuff. You can restart, you just gotta delete your save data. Oh! Aw, oh, screw you, Minotaur! Aw, oh, what the heck? Really, bro? I wasn't gonna kill you, but now I'm really gonna murder your freaking face. Oh, that sucked.
How far away from Melv are we? Ugh. Ugh. God dang. It's brutal. There are multiple dragons across the map. I'm not going to spoil how many there are. Uh, you can play and find out. So there's drakes and there's full-blown dragons. We prevailed by the skin of our teeth. What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. On this map at night. <laughs> oh, that poor ox is just like, man, I'm now I'm abandoned out here in the darkness. Do it. Don't talk to me. God, there's another camp up here. Let my magic and your weapon with the fury of the elements. those up there? Are they dead? Oh, there's still a couple more skeletons. God dang it. I hope you weren't expecting this. Do you need to play the first one to understand the second one? No. Completely separate. So, feel free to uh, play if you so desire. Don't need to play the first one. Who taught to hack a new catchphrase? Wait, I have a new catchphrase? <laughs> Does wonders. <laughs> Wait, what's the new catchphrase? Ready to forge on? Is this game good? I'm a huge fan of the previous game, but I'm a huge dilemma because of how bad people talk about it. Well, uh, Boo Boo, if you're still here, um, the people talking bad about it, no offense, are, uh, you know, probably. All right, let's not be mean. Dumb. For a lack of better terms that I can say on YouTube. Everybody's it's basically getting review bombed for microtransactions, which is, you know, I'm not a fan of microtransactions, all that stuff. But for you to even know that there's microtransactions in this game, you have to actively look at. You have to actively look for it. You have to go into Steam. You have to click on DLC, which means you're actively looking to buy stuff. I've played almost 80 hours. I didn't even know that there were microtransactions in the game for. 70 hours. There's no shop in the game. Actually, the only way that I found out that there were microtransactions in the game was from Twitter. You can play this game and never even know. The only way you'll encounter microtransactions is if you actively look for the them. And there's no reason to buy them because you sure can we'll get them in, due time. in excess just playing the game. So, there's a lot of misconceptions going around because, you know, YouTube and TikTok and all that stuff is just a unending cesspool nowadays of misinformation and people getting views for making people angry because it's, you know, what gets views. Nice things don't get views. 
You also do need a good CPU for the game, though. Which is one of the main downsides. It is very CPU intensive. Can you have multiple saves, or is that only a PC issue? No, you can only have... Technically, you can only have one save. If you're on PC, you can make multiple saves. Like, I have three different saves. Um, you have to copy the save file over. And then... Uh, and then just boot the game with the save file that you want to load. But they did this because they wanted your your decisions to matter. There are so many open world games that are out that, you know, claim that your choices make a difference and and the things that you do in the world matter and stuff like that. But every single time a developer says that, it's a freaking lie. Most of the time in most games, your choices never matter. But in this game, they actually do. Almost every side quest that you do in the game has some kind of tie to a, to the main story in one way or another, whether it be at the beginning of the game or further down the line. And the choices you make within those is going to change how things go through. That adds a lot of replayability. There's New Game Plus right off the bat, so you're not having to wait to pay for a DLC to get New Game Plus to be able to play that. And if you want to see the, you know, the changes in things, then you play New Game Plus and you can make different choices. It adds quite a bit of replayability to the game. There's definitely reasons to play this game multiple times. We've no cause to visit a campsite as yet, methinks. Does it support multiple cores? Yeah. We've grown tired from our labors. Basically, there's a thousand different NPCs with their own motivations and things like that in the game, and the game is constantly trying to uh, calculate what is going on. It's, it's honestly probably, if I'm being completely honest, uh, not really well done how they've optimized NPC uh, usage in the game, for lack of better terms. There's no reason for it to run that bad, that's what I'm trying to say. But it does. They're actively trying to work on it's fixing it. Time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Aww, Lexara just recruited my, my fur baby. I made Aragon. In my last playthrough, and she was able to just recruit him as a pawn. You, master, but I'm worn out. Mightn't we have a rest before pressing on? We are so cucumbered right now. It is rough. Let's my magic Bye. Stuff in storage. I hope this ox cart gets blown up like mine did. Else we would have been done with this like 15 minutes ago already. Hold faster, Risen. I will be with you in but a That's moment. right. Touch my butt. Thank you. Traveling around without an ox cart, if it gets blown up, is a rather unfortunate. I don't know if my chat's broken again. YouTube chat's been breaking a lot lately. Oh, 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 
shall know my pain twofold. Did they really follow us all the way in here? I grant you fire's blaze. Use it well. That was a brave little toaster right there that just got exploded. Here at the inn, I get so few customers, you see, that I can manage both. It's gonna be so nice to be not cucumbered anymore. Good now. Okay. I think we're good. If rolls myself. Wizard dried meat. Okay. But enough about me. Did you need something? Yeah. Upgrades. We got dragons foin now, an advanced form of uh, Dragon Stab that allows the user to travel farther whoops, and causes more damage, I believe is what that said. So we'll accept that. Then we got Seeching Blade. I'm not going to use that. So we got Humble Offerings. Levitates nearby objects and hurls them. It's an extended range allows the targets to be lifted from further away. I do like that. It just comes in so handy. I haven't really used the Ravenor's Hound very much. Ooh, darts swiftly into the air before plunging down at high speed. Inflicts greater harm when evading a target's attack. Launches smaller targets great distances, forcibly removing them from battle? What? Larger targets are not launched but struck with a solid blow. Oh, I need that. <laughs> oh, it's going to make me so happy. All right, so we got the lightsaber move. And then opulence. Increase gold obtained when acquiring coin pouches. Sure. Temporally stores an incanted spell on the staff to be casted instantly at the wearer's discretion. Oh. Wow, Karen hasn't learned anything else. Okay, Karen. Do come again. I, I didn't know what people's problem with this game is. I'm playing on the Series S and the game looks fine to me. I prefer playing a good game with mediocre graphics than any than the other way around. The, um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I do not know what happened. I think everybody's... There's definitely, apparently, some performance issues. I didn't really encounter any of those. Um, but it definitely seems like it, the game is crashing a lot for some people, which is unfortunate. Um, 
microtransactions, you have to actively look for them. They're not really a thing, even in the game. You don't need them. I'll talk to, at length about it. There's a griffin. So what I'm hoping a lot of people did when they were starting the game is that they were actively exploring the area. So there's a solid chance the first Seekers token many people may have found would be just outside of Melv. We cross the bridge here, and along this side of the road, you can actually run down this area right here. This is actually where I picked up my first Seekers token. So this should be where I can find the the item in the riddle that the Sphinx is asking for. Now, at the bottom of this, instead of being a Seeker's token, when we pick this up, it is a Finder's token. So you'll know that you acquired the right one when you get a Finder's token instead of a Seeker's token. So now we need to bring this back to the Sphinx to be able to complete this part of the riddle. <laughs> and now we need to go all the way back up and squeak. This ox cut. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Alright, so we need to go back to Varenworth. I could teleport there, but we're going to take the ox cart instead because I need to save my fairy stones for later. Hopefully, the ox cart makes it this time. Ah. You have got to be kidding me. What are the odds? Can we sleep through this? Of course not. Oh my god, ox cart, move! Oh god, he sat on my face. Let me up! What bad luck. Moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Why must I hit it with the new sky though? Broken ox carts in a that row. Was we should be able to move this boulder with our combined might. Would anyone care to push? Where am I right now? I'm so butt hurt right now. The encounters are random. We've made it then. What's our first order of business arisen? How many days has it been? Four. I'm going to rebuy another fairy stone just in case we need one. Need anything? Many thanks. Shut up. Dirty little thief. This guy's looking awfully suspicious.
All right, so now we need to get to uh, the last item that we need for this. Ox carts make for relatively safer travel. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll need to see some coin before I let you on. Oh, God, not Melv. No, I don't want to go to Melv. Shoot. Not Melv! Melv is freaking cursed. Never going to Melv again. Melv can eat my I ass. Some interesting tidings about I've never had so much Regarding bad luck with ox carts. Yes. So butthurt right now. Twould see. The Queen Regent has made significant alterations to this ox cart. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Go to sleep, little boy, yo. <laughs> Do not test I got you roaring flame. I feel like I should get paid for protecting the ox cart when we get raided. We should get a refund. Instantaneous refund. Wait, were we like right at Melvin? <laughs> we were right at well, Melvin when that happened. Or not Melv, but uh, uh, the place of places. All right, I need to, I have a screenshot of where we need to go. It's the road up. Uppy ups. Roll wager. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? This is what I meant to do at the beginning of the stream and I forgot to do it. <laughs> So before you go down this little mountain here to head to the Sphinx, what you need to do is actually continue your way just up this area here. Take out any particular monsters along this little path here. And we are going to mosey forth. There might, see, there might be some bandits around this area here. Hopefully, yeah. There's going to be another group of bandits kind of right here. There's going to be one just outside this little abandoned structure and probably one inside as well. Always two of them here for some reason. Just kind of being lazy. Oh, there's a third one too. Want to die too, friend? Perfect. And inside of this little broken, and inside of this broken down tower right here, if you go just inside of this, there's going to be a rift stone here. This is a special rift stone. There are multiple named rift stones around the map. This one is the closest to the Sphinx that we're going to need. This is a rift stone of fellowship. This is going to be for the riddle of wisdom. And if we open up this rift stone, We can check the pawns in Rift. We have the Sphinx Mother here. We have the Sphinx Parent. And we have the Sphinx Father. Now the Riddle of Wisdom acts... <coughs> Bam. Can't even talk today. Oh, Mr. Fluffy, we'll get the playlist going today. I'm sorry. Um, so the riddle asks us, why am I saying, <laughs> I'm also using this for a recording, so I got to make sure I talk right. The struggle is for realsies. I'm like all cotton mouth today. The riddle asks us to bring the Sphinx's parents. Now the father and mother does not work, but the parent does. Now, unfortunately, this parent is quite a bit higher level than us. Which means it's going to take a lot of RC for us to recruit it. We can add a marker to this. And we'll be able to find it within this rift. It's a rogue too. I kind of wish it wasn't a rogue, but you know what? It'll probably do a lot of damage. I have a knack for 
combining materials that I hope you'll find useful. And what we need to do is I'll actually recruit this Sphinx parents. And we are going to get rid of... Ooh, Atraxa. Yeah, you can have one of these. At least I go knowing I fought to the best. Delighted of my to meet you. It's God that used a lot of RC. <laughs> it strikes me that we have not visited Mel for some time. Shall we stop by and see how its people fare of late? Nice. So we got these Sphinx parent. I know the way. Hey, follow me. Now, if you don't see the Sphinx We're parent in inside hands, of sir. one of the... Man, I'm having a brain fart. <laughs> inside of one of the Rift Stones of... What is that called? Rift Stones of Friendship, right? Is that what it was? Fellowship. Now, if you don't see the Sphinx parent inside of the Rift Stone of Fellowship, you just kind of need... You need to exit out of it and re-enter into it until one shows up. But they will only show up at the Rift Stone of Let's Friendship. I look forward to seeing where you take us. <laughs> now, once you get the last two items... Yeah, it's fellowship. I know, I said friendship again. Uh, let's see here. So we got the finder's token. And since we only have seven days for this, I want to use a fairy stone here to go to the port crystal that we left at the mountain shrine. This way we don't waste any time getting to this, because if you fail any of these riddles, then you will not be able to continue the Sphinx Shrine quest. And you definitely want to. Yeah, I love that the Sphinx parent is trying to get me to go to Melv. How rude. Alright, so let's find this Sphinx parent here. We're going to pick this up, and we're going Good. to bring it to the Sphinx. So we're going to walk right up to the Sphinx. We're going to place it down on this little altar here, and we are going to, to complete the Riddle of Wisdom. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. Oh, I brought you your parent. It definitely needs to be parent. Mother and father do not work. And you claim this to be the parent I seek. Found that out the hard Indeed, way, by the way. You are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. Mayhap it was somewhat overdone, but no matter. <laughs> it was not overdone. All right, so in the third chest, let's see what we got. We've acquired 1,200 RC, so thankfully we got paid back with all, well, even more RC than we spent on the parent. And now we can turn in the final key to these riddles. Come to test your wits. Which is the riddle of rumination. Yet where was it that you found your first? Ah. This is probably going to be the hardest one for most people to complete. Uh, but hopefully most people, if they watch this, will remember where their first Seeker's token is. Well sought and well found. Yes, give me my final prize. I trust it was a pleasant jaunt. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in yon chair. Now at this five point, this Sphinx is actually that. going to leave. And five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more. But I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth, all is in flux. And so, the time has come for me to fly. If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. 
But for now, I bid you farewell, dogged adventurer. Ah, uh, yes, the dogged adventurer. All right, so the Sphinx is actually going to leave now, taking the golden chest there. So you could actually fight her and get the golden chest at the beginning without opening up any of these side ones. This gloom has an eerie cast. But we got three fairy stones on that last chest, which is actually going to come in extremely handy here at the end. So now we need to find the next Sphinx location. It's kind of cool that we get to watch her fly away <laughs> with the loot that we want. Uh, but regardless... What we need to do now is make sure to pick up this port crystal that These we dropped down because be we can important. reuse this somewhere Let's else. Look, then. She's really creepy. Oh, yeah, she's super creepy. And what we need to do now is we're going to use one of these fairy, uh, fairy stones to take us back to Vernworth. Because we're going to need to take one of the ox carts back to the border town, or the rest town, to find the second location that she's at. There's also a secret way to kind of sneak into the second area of the map, which is actually kind of really nice to know. I'm not taking any passengers, just... I'm not taking any passengers? Boo. She's really creepy. No, she's super, super, super duper creepy. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you do find... <laughs> gentles. <laughs> gentlemen, if you do find yourselves enjoying the stream, a like would be greatly appreciated. It helps out so very, very much. This ox cart will not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Right. So we need to go back to Vernworth, and we need to take a ox cart to the checkpoint rest town. So we're going to board this bad boy. And hopefully not fight anything along the way. I've got a good feeling about this one. All right, we did it. It's Christmas freaking miracle. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. All right. Let us Before we to continue. Up. We are going we are to rest at this books. inn because I want to make sure we create Breaking a new save roads, point. Being trade towns can make you right sick of crowds, but here, at least, Plus you'll it's find a nice a cheap one. peace and quiet. And let's deposit anything that we don't need as well. I'm still watching your first episode. <laughs> well, welcome to the third one. We must rest. Though the sun is... Our adventure continues. Off we go then. Ready to forge on? All right, we've got ourselves a new save point now. All right, so what we need to do is we need to find an alternate route which is actually through this gorge right here. We need to find a nice safe way down there. Really hoping our pawns don't die here. Or us, for that matter. You know what? I've got one on me. I'm not going to use it. Actually, before we continue, we're at the two hour mark. I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to go get some water. And it I will be right back. For some time. We're going to pause just in case anything weird happens. But I'll be right back. Tag died. Yeah, I fell off a cliff and died. Uh, but I'm going to take a quick break. Like three minute break. So grab some snacks or whatever you want to do.
Oakley Dokley. Wow, we lost a lot of people. God dang. For a couple minute break. It's a bummer. Okay. Let's try not to die this time, shall we? I know the way. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Let's go the heck out of you. I'm sorry. Master, We're gonna go down the smart way this time. That a fairy stone can shorten a long day's journey into a single instant. Your mom, That's fairy just stone. what I was thinking. Olivia, how are you doing? Oh, hello, rabbit. Y'all want to see something cool? <laughs> Bet you didn't know you could do this, right? We can carry rabbits, but a treasure chest. Karen, you want a rabbit? Master, if ever your pack Don't grows cumbersome, leave me alone. Would be glad to purchase. You made me lose my rabbit. Come here, Sphinx parent. Here, have a rabbit. This is such fun. Really now. <laughs> you can just toss the rabbit back and forth. It's kind of mean, but it's also like, why? It's for Easter. Ha! Can I catch it? Oh no, I killed it! <laughs> oh no! Come back! Maybe Karen's a better thrower. Come here, Karen. Oh, it's dead. Nope, 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 come back. There are useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll raise them. Shut. No harm in We're playing game. Rabbit Toss Simulator. <laughs> the first game of catch, exactly. Anyways, let's continue on, shall we? <laughs> Sphinx Bird is pretty good with the logistician stuff. The pawns in this party are women all. And yet, no two of us are the same. <laughs> Don't trust tag with rabbits. Look, rabbits, I would never do that to a real rabbit, but a video game rabbit, absolutely. I grant you boring flame. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Fear not, master. Naught shall befall you while I am here. <laughs> 10 out of 10 game of the year. <laughs> Because of the rabbit toss. How do you like that? And so we don't want to go deeper down into the gorge. We actually want to climb up this mountain. So we're going to make our way. There's a lot of scary things along this kind of path here. Kind of need to make our way. Like a little billy goat up this mountain. Oh. Yeah, that happened. Rolly boys suck. Karen! Karen, no! Oh, poor Karen. Gone, but not forgotten. Let's revive Karen before she, like, die dies. Encounter more of those, so. <laughs> Let's try and be careful, chat. No 
sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. Bye, Felicia. Let my magic imbue your weapon with the fury of the elements. It never ceases to make me happy. Give me the sweet, sweet potato eaters. Oh, Christ on a muffin. I'm hoping I can knock him off this ledge here. Have him in the chocolate starfish. The most vulnerable of spots, they say. from that interesting so the names this bow was marked to be oh, that's a solid tip i never the rift. realized I oh shoot hunt. well said then look at all them rabbits we could play real rabbit toss is karen gone for good no she's alive she's right there she had a rough day but otherwise doing okay it is raining if it keeps this boulder looks mighty heavy. Please don't run into the boulders. We just be able to move it and combine our efforts. Ah! Uh! Shall we set it rolling? The enemy's movements have grown sluggish. We must not give them a chance to recover. The moment of victory is at hand. Let us finish this. Oh no. a new skill that I don't know how to activate that I just got. I got you by the way. Oh, a freaking Chimera, too? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. This is a Bad News Bears Day right now. Where did Karen go? 
Or not even Karen, but the other person. Can you get up here, please? No wonder, our rogue is missing. when it rains. I think it just lives here and we just so happen to find it while it was raining. No, this is a... We killed the um, the other guy already. Uh, there was a Minotaur here that we already killed. Oh, we got a Fairy Stone from it. Nice. you supposed to be working, buddy? <laughs> 30 minutes later. That's sometimes how it works in this game. Where you just encounter a whole bunch of bad news bears at once. Main and an all heal, heal elixir from that. There's also a chest over here. Allow me. Wait a moment. That was close. I think we technically died for a second, but I was able to pop a healing potion, which saved me. Might that be a Wakestone shaft? Oh, how lucky we are to have stumbled across one. We ought to be Lest we lose it. You can lock on? No, you can't. There's no lock on in this game. Uh, We're almost to the next Sphinx location. <laughs> 
And thankfully, we are out of the rain. While traveling beyond the rift, I uncovered a treasure chest hidden in this very locale. Shall we seek it out? I like that the Sphinx parent just knows where all the things are. This gloom has an eerie cup. Well, so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. Let us resume at once. I too have grown rather engrossed. So now at this point in time, there isn't a set way that we can do uh, the riddles that she offers. It's going to be a random five riddles, and we need to figure them out as we go. Huzzah! You've done it! Now, technically, coming here is a riddle in and of itself. So we can actually go and open the first chest here. So that's something to keep in mind for future riddles. Let's open this bad boy up. We got 104,999 gold for opening that first chest. Absolutely amazing. So let's see what she offers us for the first riddle. Now, questions beget questions, and I have one for you. How many riddles have you solved thus far? Okay, so that's perfect. My memory fails me, you see. Remind me and make it plain. So she's asking us how many riddles we solved thus far. At the first location, we solved five. Coming and finding her here was actually a riddle in and of itself. So we have solved six riddles so far. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. So what we need to do is we need to bring these over. Now, the way you can figure this out is you obviously have completed five at the previous area. And depending on when she gives you this riddle, you can tell by how many... Ch uh, by, you can tell by how many chests you have opened already. If there's one chest opened, that means we have solved six, two, seven, etc., etc. So we need to bring six of these little statues over. And once we bring them in front of her, we can complete this riddle. What are you looking at? Hey, Brandy, how are you doing? This is the Sphinx. You don't need to stack them on top of each other like I'm doing. Just need to bring them over. Wait, how many did I do already? Is that four? I got five. And six. All the chests, even. Yeah, it's a thing. She's got no nipples, though, so I shouldn't get demonetized. Hopefully, I don't get demonetized. I probably am already, though. All right, now that we've brought six of these over, we can talk to her once again. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before... This is your answer. Are you sure of your count? Yes, ma'am. My, that's quite a number. And I wish I could take a screenshot right there. I see you're keeping track. Of course, your erudition shan't go unrewarded. Yeah, let's open up our next chest before we continue. It's so nice that you can complete these at the beginning of the game because it gives you a nice little boost. The unmaking arrow. Do not use this. You may very well be inclined to use this unmaking arrow. If you've played Breath of the Wild, this is essentially... I forget what they called it, but that arrow that can one-shot anything in the game. This is the exact same thing in Dragon's Dogma 2. Do not use this on the Sphinx. You might be tempted to. Don't do it. It is not going to end well for you. Exactly, yeah. It's like an ancient arrow. All right, let's see what our third riddle is going to be. Well, technically our eighth riddle. So vast is this world and full of life. You are but one of many. Indeed, 
In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. Yet we do so love to extol our differences. But are these differences so great? Hmm. If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. I seek this man. If men are so distinct, I'm sure you'll find Oh, not tonight. this dude. I've been wondering what this dude is all about for a very long time. So we got the riddle of a differentiation. If we go to our history, we can see what NPCs we have met before. I don't know if I've actually met this particular NPC in this playthrough yet. No, I have not. Anyways, there's an NPC called Dante, and if you've played any other Capcom games, then you know that Devil May Cry has a character named Dante. Now to find Dante, Dante actually lives in the Checkpoint Rest Town, but this isn't actually the character that we are looking for. We're looking for a character very similar to Dante, which we need to get on the other side of this gate. Now if you're doing this at the beginning of the game, you can actually sneak into this second area before you would typically be able to in the main story quest. So we need to find Virgil. Which means we need to sneak into the second area. Now, thankfully, since we've already found this Sphinx Shrine, we can do that. By continuing through this path and entering into this area here and then following up this little path right here. But before we do that, we need to leave this Sphinx area. This next step is going to be incredibly important. This port crystal that you acquired earlier uh, in this Sphinx... <coughs> oh my god. <laughs> earlier in this Sphinx quest line, you can either get a port crystal or a part crystal, depending on where you start doing this in your you know playthrough. But essentially, you want one of these in your inventory. So we're going to use this, and we're going to put this right here. This is going to make to you, this Sphinx quest line so unbelievably easy. So make sure to place one before we leave. Because you're going to be able to finish this Sphinx quest line like, super quick because of this. So we've got it placed there. Obviously, we're going to need some fairy stones for this in the future. But thankfully, we got, I think, five of them on that final uh, Sphinx riddle. So let's see here. We need to sneak into uh, the final area here. Which means we need to go down this mountain right here. There's a campsite right there. I think there's actually a way around. There's a lot of chests around here that you can collect as well. thunderstorm outside. Now let's make us make our way through the final part of this little canyon here. This is actually really nice because you can kind of get to some really cool things by doing this earlier in the game. Oh, I'll take that. It's a bit sneaky. We might find a use for it. Definitely worth doing. Right, so we're going to go around this edge here. Be careful of your pawns when you do this though. Oh, we got a nice additional fairy stone from a chest. Might there be ought over there? We ought to take a closer look. Cloudy with a chance of chimeras. <laughs> that was certainly the case just moments ago. Band of Nagas! Flame will accomplish little against this. We're just going to actually ignore most ah, you know what? We're not gonna ignore these because I need the expert. Let my magic kill your weapon with the fury of the elements. We should have camped. God, I forgot how much harder these things are going to be. Oh, Lord. I nothing of 
Heroes, what it do? Throw a rabbit at them. You know, it might work. Getting all that money from this quest is going to be so useful. All right. We aren't we going to fight anything else because I really don't want to die right, until at least we, we get to a, a camp. And see what happens. It's a bit sketchy getting through here. It's going to be okay. We will survive. Now, there's a novel idea. I've never seen my own master oh, attack. Not fighting anything. Feet. Not doing it. These things are particularly difficult through here. I can very easily one shot you uh, at the beginning of the game. Let's just keep running. Um, it'll also help if you just kind of two me your oh, pawns. Uh, They'll distract enemies as you kind of master. run through this cavern. My mind was a thousand leagues away. Don't you be talking about my assless pants on my character? It was beautiful, okay? Ah, yes. Back in Batal. Ooh, there's no dragon down there right now. There's usually a dragon down in this little chasm here. There are here. useful ingredients to be gathered here, I'll wager. Shall we and see we if there's do to be found not want to fight that dragon. It will murder the bejesus out of us. Please don't fall off. Oh no, the dragon is here. Oh, Billy. Bye, bird. Please be dragon fodder. Carrot, it's not time for high fives, bud. This is an emergency. Alright, anyways, we want to make our way down here. <laughs> character was was gorgeous with those with those pants. It was pretty beautiful. No lie. You Time are for your shenanigan bird Allow boy. Me. Wait a moment. When did stop the ancestor speedrun? That was a long time ago. That was what, five years ago? remember why I stopped it, honestly. No secret token. Do not want to fight that dragon. It's gonna be the best way out of this predicament we've got ourselves in. No. <laughs> oh, it would be our luck to fight a freaking griffin on a mountainside like this. Anyways, we need to kind of go back down this way. Are we ignoring the enemy today? Yeah, we're ignoring the Let griffin. The that's on top of a that's dragon. How do we get across this? I've never actually tried to sneak it. Oh, somebody died. Karen! Oh, no. This is bad news bears all around. I think we're leaving our rogue behind.
Saturn, are you still alive? Oh, Sphinx is back. Shoot. Wait here. I've never seen things get teleported back up to where they fell from dying. This is actually really cool. Usually they stay down there and you have to go find them. Are we to remain here? I think we just got really lucky. Val's having a bad day, but... Val always has a bad day. Are they permadead? Uh, yeah, so your pawns, if... So the pawns that you recruit from other players, if they die in your game, then they will basically be sent back to their player character, and you'll have to recruit a new one. I don't want Sphinx to die because we spent a lot of RC on her, and uh, I don't want to spend more. We're now going to rest here. Hopefully we don't get raided by that dragon. That suck. Oh! Okay. You wish me to Where are my pawns right now? Hi. <laughs> I really like the Yeetus Deletus 9000. I know it's probably not the best skill to have, but my god, does it make me happy. Oh, what the heck was that? Bye. Oh yeah. We good? We Gucci? You know, we're gonna cook that age, Scrag. What say we get some rest? I'm not sure I can face a trek with my belly so full. Really, dude? There's one guy left that really just wanted to die real bad. This isn't much of an adventure if all we do is make camp. Let us return once we've grown tired from our labors. Okay. If we go left, we're going to encounter that dragon. Don't want to fight that dragon. Bad news bears. We want to climb up this mountain. It's going to make our way downtown, walking fast. Homebound. Your magical aid has dissipated. Pray. Cast it anew. Men in harpies and that venom are not to be trusted. What are they getting into right now? Ice is not a threat to it. We may have to rethink our strategy. Did you see a live action grilling scene? <laughs> yeah, you did. Poison is a nasty. <laughs> He just still lead us. I grant you roaring flame. Sir, we <laughs> we've used too much budget, we can't make a cooking cutscene. Actually the, the reasoning behind it was why spend a whole bunch of a CG budget to make something look real? when you can just record the real thing. It's honestly kind of getting that, to that point uh, with most things where you're spending, you know, especially movies nowadays, like... Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but... It's absolutely crazy. There's actually an article, a really interesting article recently about the... Uh, uh, 
uh, the newest Godzilla movie, where they had like a CGI budget of like 15 million or whatever it was, and they won this year at the Oscars, like like best CGI of 2024. And like Marvel movies and like everything in general is spending hundreds of millions of dollars on CGI, but they took a very like old practice of, uh, of how to do CGI and honestly like really good. But yeah, like why spend a whole bunch of money to make something look real when you can just record the real thing? It doesn't make any sense. In certain circumstances, you know. One of us has been poisoned. Oh, bye bye. Yeah, give me them vocation rank ups. Let's go. I don't want to go back to Rogue for a little bit because Rogue is so good. Thief, I'm sorry. Not Rogue. I think we might be cucumbered. I've a knack for gathering items. You shut your I'm pie hole. Hunt for new finds. So yeah, for those of you wondering if you can sneak into the final area of the map, not the final area of the map by any means, but um, the second zone, you can actually sneak into it very early in the game. You can literally do whatever you want in the game. It's, it's pretty crazy. Where there's a will, there is a way. And it's just all about exploring the world and uh, discovering what there is to offer. There's actually multiple ways into this. Uh, there's actually this checkpoint up here that you can't cross until a certain point in the story. Oh, but you can. Like Elden Ring. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there. Okay. So what you can do is from the Frontier Shrine, which is actually where you encounter the Sphinx for the second time, you can run back up this way. You can follow this road all the way down and navigate through here. There's going to be a dragon in this location, so be careful. There's also a griffin that can attack you in this area. And you're just going to follow this road all the way down the waterfall area here. You can rest at this campsite if you need to. Then you're going to follow this mountain up. You can follow this road to the main road, or you can climb up the mountain right here. But essentially, you can bypass this checkpoint station if you don't have access to get through here. If you've gone far enough in the main story, you can go to the checkpoint rest town, and you can just pass through this gate and immediately bear, be, you can immediately be where you need to be to complete this riddle. Otherwise, you're going to have to go the long way around. But thankfully, I found a really amazing secret to make this so much easier to actually be able to complete this. Now, what we're looking for is this fine gentleman right here. This is Virgil. Virgil has a brother named Dante, and they look exactly the same. They are oh, twins. You cannot use Dante for this, so you will need to use Virgil. But what we can do is we're actually going to do a save game here just in case something breaks. Anytime you do anything a little bit weird or wonky, I recommend either making a manual save or going to, say, an inn and doing a manual rest. Looking manual to lay rest, your head basically, resting at an inn. This is going to create you a new save game called an inn rest, which is incredibly useful to rewind time if you need to. We're going to rest till morning just in case. Complain about mm. Our adventure continues. Come, we've much to be getting on with. <laughs> I don't know now, the first you, time I, I did this. And oh, God, where'd Virgil go? There he is. The first time I did this, what I did was I actually picked up Virgil. 
and I carried him all the way back to the Sphinx. Which means you're going to have to kill poor Virgil. <laughs> so you could either go back through the checkpoint rest town, go through the gorge here and make your way back up to the Sphinx, or you could run south all the way through if you don't have access to this checkpoint. But I discovered the biggest of brain moves. This port crystal that we placed here allows us to actually teleport with NPCs. I had an epiphany this morning and I was like, I wonder if I can actually do this. And as long as you pick up an NPC, if you go into your inventory, you can use a port or a, you can use a fairy stone and you can teleport with something that you are carrying. This makes life so unbelievably easy. Oh my lord. So we're going to teleport to the Frontier Shrine port crystal that we placed. With Virgil on our back squirming. And this means we don't actually have to kill him, which is nice. We've arrived well enough. And when we teleport, we will have Virgil with us. So now we just need to run up to the Sphinx. And we'll be able to complete this riddle. This saves you so much time. I like that he kind of just walks up to the Sphinx like he knows exactly what's going on. So vast is this world and full of life. You are but one of many, indeed. In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. Yet we do so love to extol our differences. But are these differences so great? If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. So now we can answer this. And as long as we brought Virgil and not Dante, we will complete this phase of the riddles. Truly. You are satisfied with your answer. Yeah, I'm satisfied with the answer. Don't you try and, and trick me. Its merit. To pluck a human from the faceless swarm is no less a challenge than to seek a single grain of sand on the Alter Batal coast. You know, they look exactly the same. Can you recognize the only difference in these? Because you only get to see the difference between Dante and Virgil for a moment. And then you have to figure it out. Or you just waste some time, but... Yes, pluck you have. And for that, I congratulate you. Another prize is yours for the taking. Thank you, Sphinx Lady. I think that Virgil's just like, Alright, I'm good. Or, I'm out of here. He's got to walk all the way back now, though. We got the Whimsical Daydream. Now, this is a weapon that you need for using the Trickster. So if you have a plans on playing the Trickster, you can actually unlock it in this area now that you have access to the second zone. So, pretty nice. So we got two more riddles that we need to solve, and then we need to open that golden chest as well. Let's see what our next riddle is going to be. Though ours is a battle of wits, I'm not bringing them back. More to your strength, is that not so? Come, try your arm. Though he shall be your opponent, not I. Okay. <laughs> However, I am not one to be amused by a simple duel. Oh yeah, you don't want a simple duel, huh? Bear this ring into battle, that I might gauge your true strength. So, the Ring of Derision. We need to equip this before we start fighting this particular individual. Make sure not to scream. Uh, <laughs> make sure not to screw this up. I think it automatically equips, but it weakens all of the wearer's attack to the fullest extent possible. Now, if we go to fight this, we're actually going to take a lot of damage. And you'll notice that we don't deal any damage at all. So, what we need to do here is you need to perform some kind of move that is going to knock the enemy down. There you go. And what we can do is actually just pick up this enemy. 
You do not want to try and fight this thing forever. It's it's gonna you, you literally can't. What you need to do is you need to run to the edge and you just delete us this bad boy. Oh uh, bye bye. Good show. It seems <laughs> and riddle complete. As strong as your arm. You have more than earned your reward. Another chest is yours to claim. Basically, she just wanted to see you throw a human off a cliff. Pretty dark. But in my opinion, amazing. The Ring of Ambition is what we get as a reward. Which, a ring bearing a mysterious power that invigors the spirit, slightly boosts experience gained from defeating foes. This is going to be very good if you want to level multiple vocations. And I'm actually going to equip this. I'm going to put it on the right hand. Do not leave the Ring of Derision equipped. It will stay equipped. Alright, now for the final and most difficult riddle. Until I discovered the trick for teleporting, this was an absolute nightmare. And if you fail this... Things are going to go horribly awry. There's two different ways that you can complete this riddle. And it is very important that you do one of them. Because we want to make sure that we complete all of the riddles. So How let's figure out what this last one is. Mind unravels. Some say it's pain that does it best. Others darkness. But I say neither. Rather, I say a mind cannot be more soundly broken and when it beholds its earnest efforts laid low in a single stroke. Could you survive such despair? We shall see. Here, I have an amphora destined for Samaritz in Batal. Deliver I do hope your struggle will amuse. So this phase is actually extremely important. This plays two roles. This is going to be the final riddle. But it actually takes place in the true final riddle, which is actually defeating the phoenix, or <laughs> not the phoenix, the sphinx itself. So before you deliver this vase, you're going to want to pay attention to what is actually on it. Uh, so the Sphinx here, you can actually kill the Sphinx, or you can fight the Sphinx, but if you do it the wrong way, you will not actually be able to defeat her. She will just fly away and be like, screw you, I'm never coming back. Which is why you don't want to try and fight her at the beginning, and you only want to fight her after you solve all ten riddles. And this final riddle here actually shows you how to defeat the Sphinx. You'll notice here that there are a bunch of scars on this vase with a bunch of, like, spears or something like that. They could be arrows, they could be spears, I don't know. Uh, but they're all aiming towards these particular points. This actually gives you a hint to the final riddle on how to defeat the Sphinx. If we look at the Sphinx right now, you can see all of the different types of, like, jewelry that is on her. And these are the things that we'll need to target when we go to fight her. You don't want to fight her just head-on, attacking all willy-nilly. You need to target the specific points that are on this vase. Now, this is the crazy part. We need to actually... Before we... F <laughs> the crazy part of this is before we fight the Sphinx, we need to take this vase to our particular person. Now, the first time I did this... I actually carried this thing all the way through here, and we need to take it all. <laughs> we need to take it through the most dangerous area of the game to a particular NPC, but we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to bring the NPC to the vase instead, because it's going to be so much easier. And 
And now we must run once again. Must you run so fast? I can hardly keep you in my sights arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. Thankfully, we're not timed on this particular. Oh, we're still taking the long way. We're just not carrying the vase with us this time. <laughs> Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. <laughs> Did anyone else way. see that? Go the other Port way. catches the light. Let us ponder. How's the game? Let's My feed's full proceed. of videos hating it. It's because people are stupid. Uh, the unfortunate thing about people nowadays is, uh, you know, people are very much like sheep. And the best way to get views is by hating on something. Because it incites uh, the human nature the to uh, click. Grumbling isn't like to improve so, our situation, you know. Um, there's literally nothing to hate about the game. It is... Honestly, one of the best, like, if you liked Elden Ring and you like a, an open world that you can truly this immerse yourself in, material. this is going to be amazing. Different combinations of materials result in it is such an creations. amazing, wonderful game. Um, yeah, this is just a bunch of misinformation and stupidity being spread on the internet because it's 2024 and that's how the world works nowadays. The only true negativity that can come from anything is the fact that uh, there are apparently some performance issues. I'm assuming just when you release anything on PC, it can be hit or miss on how well things are going to work or not. I need to just make a video on that tonight. Jennifer, what's going on? No, I left them there, so I don't have to deal with them as I run down this mountain. I kind of want to just speed run going through this next area. Because uh, we've already been through here and I need to show it again. So I left them where they are so I don't have to worry about dealing with them or getting into trouble or anything like that. And they'll, they'll teleport to me when I need them again. That's the wonderful thing about pawns. Get clicks by making hate videos about haters hating for clicks. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the way it is. YouTubers need money, and the easiest way to make money is just by hating on stuff. And same thing with TikTok. All the other stuff is fine. Super unfortunate. Tis the way things are. It's also the way, the reason why news is the way it is nowadays is because uh, people are, I forget what the actual percentage is, you can do some research on it, but uh, people are far more inclined to click on a negative article than they are on a positive article. And I definitely challenge most people, like anybody in this stream watching, uh, to start paying attention to the things that you click on on the internet. And you might start realizing that when you ever you read a article of like a bad news uh, like a bad news headline you're gonna probably be very tempted to click on that uh, it's fear mongering yeah this bunch of different things uh, but it is very much in our nature to focus on negatives rather than positives which is why also reason why relationships fail so much nowadays too is because it's so easy to get so easy to, to like focus on negative reinforcement rather than the positive it takes like 10 positive things to like over like offset like one negative thing why most people just end up cheating and finding that instant gratification that comes from internet nowadays and that's just only getting worse and worse and worse as time goes really good to actually start paying attention to that and all of us fall into it i've recognize falling into it multiple times you know throughout the week 
as far as like clicking on negative articles and things like that or being tempted to. And they just remember the headline with no content or or context exactly or context or content exactly. They read the head like yeah, most people don't have the attention span to actually read the article, so the crazy thing is is they'll read the headline which is the battle already. It wasn't much most of the time is completely untrue. Well, remember the headline, the don't voice. read the article and then continue on with their day and continue to spread misinformation. It's absolutely insane. What's going on here? Oh, this is how you unlock the trickster, actually. The amount of times I've had to fact check my mother-in-law hurts my soul. Oh, it's so bad. But the fact is, like, we, we like to fact check other people, but one of the best habits that you can get into is anytime you read anything on the internet, fact check it. Before you start, like, you know, being emotional about something or like, I don't know why I said emotional, but before you start like getting in, fact check it. Cause more often than not, you're getting half the story, half the information or not even real information. It's, it's bananas. Hear an old man out, won't you? Oh yes, I will hear an old man out, but I really don't want to escort you right now. Ah, it is you. Thought I recognized you. It's a really weird quest where suddenly we start getting like these weird notes. My thanks. <laughs> this is like the weirdest quest in the whole game. Like it just acts different than all the other ones for some strange reason. Uh, this guy wants to be escorted to a shrine. This is actually how you can unlock the trickster early. So if you go to the checkpoint rest town and you go through this gorge here, you can follow this road along this path. You can go all the way through here. If you're on the, the Sphinx quest line, you can find the second version of the Sphinx here. Or you can continue down this path and into the second zone that you otherwise wouldn't be able to access until later in the game. But you can kind of navigate down this waterfall, follow this road along here. And then follow this path until you get to the main road and cross this bridge where you'll encounter this NPC. This NPC wants us to find a shrine that is just up the road. So if you really want to play the trickster early in the game, you can do that. Uh, you're just going to need to... Like, basically, you can do this from the start of the game. Although when you get to this area, if you are very early in the game, you're not going to want to fight anything because it can do a lot of damage. And that is the shrine that we need to go to right there. Now, unfortunately, with this NPC, we do technically need to protect him. So there's a couple different ways you can do that. If you run back to this old man, you can actually just pick him up. And you can carry him instead of... Oh, God. I would recommend doing that before you get into this area. You can actually just pick him up and carry him to where you need to go. That way you can run through this area at a lower level without really having to risk yourself or the NPC. Because they can die. If he does die, you can actually revive him with a weak stone. But you don't technically need him to be able to complete this quest. This also works really well for any kind of escort quest. Instead of like having them follow you, just pick them up and carry them to where they want to go. They're going to complain a little bit about it. But it just makes life so much easier. Come back. Come here. Like a sack of potatoes, exactly. All right, so we can drop him here, My and we six. should be able to complete this quest. This is for you. Now we. Eh? We got two thousand gold and a panacea. Pick him up, throw him down, repeat. Exactly. 
Oh god. Now the location that we need to go to is the Reverent Shrine to be able to unlock this vocation early. You can technically do this escort quest. It'll direct you to this area, but you don't actually need to complete it to be able to unlock it. We and all we need to do is just Inamati, enter into the shrine and go up to, to the very top. Only enhances our chances against future adversaries. And I'm not sure... This unlocks the trickster. Did we already get the alert for that, maybe? I didn't actually see it. Can it be you are lost? The path to the dragon has many turns. But I can... This meeting shall not be... There we go. If you talk to the person standing here, when you exit that conversation, you'll automatically unlock the trickster. It's a little weird. I don't know why it unlocks like that. It's kind of strange. It is no more or less than what one might have expected. We cannot expect fleet. Being treasures around every corner. Well, regardless, we're able to get it unlocked. I adore how you can just pick people up, all caveman like. <laughs> yeah, I wish more games would allow you to just pick people up and just take them where they needed to go. So annoying to have to deal with like escort quests the way they they just take forever and all that stuff. There's a dragon over there, we don't want to fight that. We're gonna go the long way. Taking the long way round. We're going to skip pretty much all of the fights along this path here. It would be good XP, but... Hey, there's another little rabbit! You wish me to return? At once, Master. One of us has been poisoned! level for getting through here right now. I'm just gonna skip it. Not worth it. I'll get the better of our foe yet. Hang in there, master. I'm coming to assist. Who died? Oh no. God dang it. I'm just dumb. This area is really rough to get through. At least early. You can't run literally right past everything, but... What level are we compared to Valkyrie now? We're 24. Okay, we can let Valkyrie die. That's fine. That's my we'll just recruit him in fun. 
significantly lower level than us at this point. Those things suck! This run has been an accurate <laughs> recreation of my daily commute. Oh no. Right, how are we out of anything that rejuvenates our stamina? For this particular run, I highly recommend having things that rejuvenate stamina for you. Hmm. Otherwise, it's going to suck. Very similar to what we're experiencing right now. Really, Karen? This is the time you choose to die? You have got to be kidding me. And I just died too. Prepare yourself. That's rough. Hmm. Go get Karen. Honestly, if we came here with potions and stamina stuff, we would have been fine, but I accidentally put all my stuff in storage before doing this, so. Bad news bears. Oh no. Karen! <laughs> no! Bring Karen! Sphinx, bring Karen! <laughs> Screw those birds, man. Those birds can eat my ass. Ooh, 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 ooh. you come from? I cannot believe it. I should have just fought him. I don't know why I tried to super secret squirrel that. It was dumb. I don't know where the last save game was. This is why you leave your pawns behind before you do anything. Pawns need to wait here. If you want to do this run the easy way, you're definitely going to want to make your pawns wait. If you try and bring them with you, they're just going to end up dying and causing you an absolute nightmare. So leave your pawns behind. So dumb. Cannot believe I did that the dumbest way possible. I even started it off the right way. How's the spear hand? It's pretty good. I like it. I think Rogue is still probably one of the best uh, classes in the game. But spear hand's pretty... Yeah. 
you enjoyed the chaos. Well, I'm glad. Mystic, that's not how this game works. Lay down your arms before you hurt yourself. Lay down your arms before you hurt yourself. <laughs> Make sure to conserve stamina until the last little hike here. You get some fruitables along the way, though. problem ensued from trying to fight a whole bunch of stuff down here. We're just not going to do that this time. Those freaking bird things are the worst. Okay, we're good now. One of us has been poisoned. Arisen, are you alright? Oh my god. Let my magic grant you an elemental reason. God dang hurts. I hate birds. Birds are the worst. Plus, they have bird flu. Anybody else want to go? What fails to destroy us only enhances our chances against future adversaries. We're going to run through here. I think maybe we might be able to do something while we're here. This tavern is high, even pawns, so long as they've coined for their ale. Ooh, I wonder if we can't do this part yet. Peruse at your leisure, sir. I'll gather these now. Twould be a shame to forget their location when we need them most. I think we can. Pray, slow your feet. You run too fast for the likes of me. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. <laughs> Although I guess we can do a save now. Now I've got to try and remember where we need to go. Have a look then. Um, there. You are in need of healing. Allow me. Wait right there.
Here we go. Okay, so we made it. <laughs> now, if you have never been to Back Batal, this is actually where we need to go to complete this final riddle. Now, from the, from the Sphinx Shrine, you can navigate down this road. You can make your way back down this waterfall and navigate through this main road. This main road will split off here after crossing this bridge. You can go across this tiny little road here, navigate across these rocks, back onto the main road, and make your way up to Back Batal. Now, this is where you'll enter into Back Batal. You can go up to this main road, go straight down through the city center, and you can turn down this main way right here. And there's going to be a set of stairs that allow you to go up to the mural byway. Follow these stairs up, and you'll be able to find this person right here you called like Amoritus. Or Moritz, or Surely however you pronounce you his name. Surely you in the mighty sphinx depicted on yonder wall? Tis a beast of fearsome intellect whose riddles If this is your first time here, he's actually going to talk about the history. Sphinx mural here. Indeed, tis said that answering its questions is but a portion of the puzzle. Mm, a portion of the puzzle, indeed. Should the day come that you seek to challenge the Sphinx yourself, you would do well to look to this mural for wisdom. So the nice thing about this mural is it's actually showing you that you probably shouldn't fight the By Sphinx. By large, the people of Bagbatal seem to adore their benevolent empress. But this is the myself. NPC that we actually we need to bring to the Sphinx. So there's a couple different ways to do this. Family. People bear no such love for their Karen, can you shut up for a second, please? I'm trying to, they have their you know, focus here. Come on. Actually, technically, this is where you would need to bring that vase. You need to bring the vase... Yeah. If you wanted to do this the hard way, you could pick up the vase that the Sphinx spawns, and you would bring it all the way down this road, down the waterfall, carry it across the main road, through here, and all the way to Back Batal. Inside of Back Batal, you would follow this main road, through the main street of the city, along this little alleyway here, and up the stairs. At the top of the stairs, you're going to find an NPC called Moritz here, who is going to be in front of this Sphinx Shrine, and this is who you need to bring this vase to. Now, this is where there is a pretty amazing trick. Instead of bringing the vase all the way here, we're going to bring the NPC to it instead. Now, there's two different ways we can do this. At the beginning of this quest line, we got a ceiling file. This boasts the unnerving ability to swallow people up, allowing them to be carried with ease. So you can actually consume a person, put it inside of this bottle, and take it to the Sphinx. But I actually kind of want to save this in case we need it for somewhere else in the game at some point in time. It could come in handy. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to pick this bad boy up, and we're going to do the trick that we did before. This is why making sure that you put one of your port crystals down or part crystals down near the Frontier Shrine is incredibly important. Because once we pick this NPC up, what we can do is we can go back into our inventory. We can use one of our fairy stones. And we're going to go to the Frontier Shrine. And the NPC will... Oh, we can't use it here. Dang it. We need to run out from under a building. <laughs> We're going to run out with the NPC here a little bit. Let's go down to this ledge right here. And then we're going to use our Fairy Stone. And we're going to teleport back to the Sphinx Shrine. There we go. We seem to have arrived without issue. But are we safe here? Now, thankfully, this NPC will teleport with us. We're going to pick it back up. I just remembered. And we're going to run over to this vase over here. Ugh, you carry 
This vase is very, very worry, delicate and can start. break at any point in time. So if you try and take it to back Batal, there's a solid chance it's going to break. Meaning you won't be able to finish the quest line. The world but if you drop Moritz here next to the vase, place. next to the Sphinx, you can complete this quest line so much easier. Hold a moment. That vase. It cannot be. For generations now, my family has been charged with a duty to seek out this amphora. To think that it was hidden here, of all places. Is that why you brought me here? So that I might claim it? Oh, joyous day! At long last, our vigil is at an end. Beautiful. And with that, we actually complete. <laughs> and with that, we actually complete the final riddle. Now, before we turn this in, we have to decide whether or not we want to fight the Sphinx, which we do. We already know how to defeat it. I recommend before you do this part to make a new, like, in rest save. So if you don't know how to do that, you can go to any town. You can rest at an inn. And this will give you a new save to kind of go back in time. Because there are auto saves and things like that that kind of overwrite your manual save. Regardless, let's go ahead and talk to the Sphinx. Well, well. Very good. So creepy. Well, well. The amphora has been delivered intact. I'd not thought you had it in you. Though I'd hope to savor your dismay, you shall have your prize all the same. And with that, our game comes to an end. As amusing as it has been. All right, so at this point, the Sphinx is going to try and leave, but we want to fight it. This is going to be the end of the quest line. I shall now take my leave of you to await the next courageous soul who would test their wits against mine. Oh, but we're going to we're going to duke it out there, buddy. Outstanding. So as long as we attack, she shouldn't leave right away. Well, but what we need to do You are a persistent one. Did my prizes fail to satisfy? You need to make sure you attack her before she gets up and leaves. Truly your greed is boundless. But soon you will learn. Those who live by their greed tend to die by it. Well, great, Sphinx. Though it is a pity. I had taken rather a liking to you. Look at the sad face. Honestly, we should have done... Mm. Actually, before we do anything here, I'm going to back up my fave game. In case I screw this up, because it is kind of easy to screw up. <laughs> User data. Just before we teleported. <laughs> They're odd. It will bring me no pleasure to spill your blood. But nor can I ignore so bold a challenge. Right, so from here we need to Oh my lord. Have we just a chance? So we need to make sure we attack the right areas. Which we talked about before. We don't want to attack the face. We want to attack where all this metal is on the Sphinx. So we want to attack specifically where, like on the chest, where all of this kind of gold chains are. She hits very hard, by the way. So you might not want to turn in this final one until you are strong enough to actually take on her. Oh god. Oh, you don't want to 
attack her face. Not the face, not the face. She likes her face. Don't attack the face. It's all about kind of like the legs and the side, the side body here. attack the wrong spot too much, she'll actually fly away and you won't be able to continue fighting. Keeping Wakestone's shards on you definitely helps. Oh man, I cannot believe I ran out of potions. <laughs> Let's go, Karen. Let's go. Straight saving the playthrough right now. Too much damage to a bad spot. Actually, it didn't give us the, the thing. Hmm. We screwed up. The Sphinx had to have work done, just saying. She's upset with you. Uh, basically, we attacked the wrong spot too much. Anyways, let's see what's open inside of this. If you do anything wrong during this quest line, it'll. Shall we see if there's all to be found while we're here? You need to defeat with the arrow. I don't think that's how that works. I tried to do it with the arrow, and she just left. Hit her in the head too hard. Yeah, let's see what's in this last chest here. The Eternal rarity. Bond. A ring that brims with mystic light. It grants the wearer a more companionable air. When offered as a gift, it deepens the bond between the giver and receiver. Interesting. 
When she tries to escape, you need to use the arrow. Interesting. How do you use the arrow? So I can't equip it. You remember that ring from the first game? Oh, really? What did it do in the first game? Karen wants to speak to the to speak to the Sphinx manager. Of course she does. All right. Um, what we need to do is we need to uh, return to the title screen without saying. We actually need to close the game. Uh, I'll restart it. I'll be right back. Quick bathroom break, and then we're gonna do that fight again. <clears throat> what to do? Now I'm pretty sure I think we auto save. Because it does like to do that. He knows how to open doors and just wreaked total havoc after I kicked him out. <clears throat> I'm going to load from last save and just see where it takes us. You need to be an archer or a warfare to use the arrow. Visited Mel for some time. We don't actually need to use the air. The downside of using an Xbox Elite controller, when a cat knocks it off the table, all the pieces of it go flying everywhere. Just my D-pad. There we go. Alex Chan, thank you for coming to Majestic Bean. Shall we stop that? All right, system. What we're going to do is we're going to crash the game, and I am going to go back to a previous save, and then we will restart to finish this. Because there's multiple ways to finish this off. <clears throat> I'm still here. I just moving stuff around. Just 
so many additional little save games here. Alright, we should be good. Because we saved just before turning that in, so. Do, 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 play. <laughs> just crazy glue it together. <laughs> that might help. Hopefully this worked. We might have lost the NPC, which I wouldn't be surprised about, but I'll have to use another fairy stone. It strikes me that we have not visited Mel for some time. Perfect. Shall we stop by and see how its people fare of late? Yeah, we'll go back to Melv at some point, I but we're going to go way. rest Fine. first. A guide is most welcome. And now we're going to rest this time. Die. So that way we actually go into this, you know, ready. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few. Where am I right? Oh my god. All over the place right now. What business have you here? <laughs> you there. Have you a home in Batal? No, I don't want to buy your home, ma'am. a home of your own to stay at, rather than a crowded inn. Well... What say you? Yeah. Not feeling so keen, are you? Buy a later. Oh. What does this say? It couldn't hurt to take a peek. Okay, we're gonna buy some upgrades before we do this fight this time. What do you want? No, nope, I don't wanna talk to the kid. Just tell me what you need and I'll see. I think we can get an upgraded spear here. Ooh, Soul of Antiquity. That is a pretty substantial upgrade. It done. <laughs> and then can we enhance it once as well? Perfect. You're welcome. And we're going to get a piece of armor as well. So. It's going to make that fight now, a little bit easier for saying, having to redo it. I want... I don't know if I want a new hat. I think I want a new armor piece. We got the noble jackets. Reedbound armor. That looks kind of nice. That's the best we can do. Don't you dare try. Try to take anything without. And we'll get pants, too. We've been using, like, beginning of the game pants this entire time. Get, I know I can get these for free. I think we'll go with the Wrath Greaves. Paying for it first. What kind of helmet do I want? I don't want the Crusader's helm. It's kind of ugly. 
We can get some wings. <laughs> I think maybe we'll go with the turban for some magic defense. Always a pleasure. Pretty significant upgrade now. When Unfortunately, we spent all the money that we got <laughs> Wait from moment. the quest line itself. What about the shelf pants? You talking about the bikini? <sighs> We're looking pretty fire right now, though. Oh, we need to go to a different end. Might you consider lightening your pack, Master? Let's see. What can we do without? Uh, cucumber. Welcome. As a discerning customer like yourself will doubtless appreciate. We offer ex- Excellent service. Huh? Am I losing my mind right now? I had a metric buttload of potions. Where'd they all go? Huh. Oh, there they are. At a fair price. Do come again. All right, let's see if we can rest at an inn over here. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Like the smash button. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Most of our only do take care to leave the room as you found it. If there's one you shan't hear me complain. All right, now we got a new set. Our adventure continues. So much, Tom, much <laughs> to do to, to murder to one giant cat lady. I don't know about you, but I am full of vim and vigor. In a way, yes. <laughs> is this a challenge arisen to see who can keep pace let us endeavor to keep up though we are less fleet of foot right, let's go back up there and do this again these pe people who use toilets or a human sized litter box maybe a little bit of both you there you seem like tis a beast indeed should the day you never know all right, let the kidnapping commence. Whatever's to be done. We've arrived well enough. 
Where to next? Alright, so the main thing about this is making sure that we attack this thing in the right way. We don't want to hit it in the face. I think we did too much damage to the legs. But basically, we want to attack either the wings, the back legs, the chest area, or the top of the front leg. If we hit other places than that, then she's what going to the flee at the end. Were you thinking, or at some point. Such a place. Hold a moment. For generations to think that it was... Is that why you... Win this time? Technically, I won last time. Well, well. Very good. Well, well. The amphora has been delivered intact. I'd not thought you had it in you. Though I'd hope to savor your dismay, you shall have your prize all the same. Yes, and now we need to get the final prize, which is from defeating the Sphinx. And with that, and we shall our have our vengeance. To an end. I shall now take my leave of you to await the next courageous soul. That was certainly worthwhile. Well, you are a persistent one. Did my prizes fail to satisfy? Truly, your greed is boundless. But soon you will learn. Those who live by their greed. Though, it is a pity. It will bring me no pl So we want to make our pawns wait. We would be if the Sphinx has grown hostile. And we just want to... I think we're just going to focus directly and only on the side of the Sphinx. Basically on this chain right there. Whoops. Oh my lord. I think it has to be on that right side of the Sphinx too. It could be the left side as well. We're just going to focus on the chest area and nothing else. Woo. Look at that ugly mug right there. So weird. See how the chains changed colors now? So we've got silver chains now, instead of just gold. I 
think that's the important part of the puzzle. Oh, unless she was frozen. I don't know why my pawns won't wait anymore. Oh no, Karen! So, the whole, like, I'm no beast to be felled with careless strikes is really, really important. We need to make sure that we hit the right spots. But I feel like my spots aren't registering, perhaps because my hitbox is so wide with this class. I didn't have a problem with this before. How did I use all my potions already? The 
this would be an annoying boss to deal with. Oh yeah. It strikes me that we have not visited Mel for some time. Shall we stop by Come and here. see how it's Wait, how many I have twelve potions. People fare of late. I know the way. Follow me. We're in your hands, sir. Much Absolutely alive. insane. Ain't no reason to be struggling like this. Here we are. In the blink of an eye. Shall we take stock of our surroundings? <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah. What in the world were you think hold a month? For general to think that it was hidden here. Is that why you Alright, so we can do another save game here, that way we can Oh we can't. Boo! And with that, I shall now take my leap. Huzzah! You've done it! Okay. I was like, why is it inactivating? That's just rude. We're gonna just go all out on this. See how we do. We're essentially just hitting that one spot over and over and over. Interesting. I don't know if it's saved or not. I think it's saved. I didn't see it. Huh. Maybe you need to hit with all the spots and not just one of them? Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, we've been at this for uh, four hours. So... I'm going to end up finishing this video tonight and releasing it, so you'll get to see the, the last two rewards on the, the video that we do. Uh, we covered most of the Sphinx stuff. Thank you all so very, very much for hanging out with me. You wonderful, wonderful humans. And uh, hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. I'm going to take a little bit of a break, finish this up, and then uh, we'll be back. I'm going to figure out exactly what's going on. We'll have a video out tonight on how to finish this up. So keep an eye out on the channel for it, and I'll see you all in the next one.